What's up guys, so today I'm going to be going over another AP Calculus AB slash BC problem, and similarly to the last video I made a couple days ago, it's also going to be partial fraction decomposition, uh, the, the main topic that we're going to be using to solve the problem. So, as you can see, whenever you have an integral with a polynomial like this into the denominator, you know that you're going to want to factor it to get it into the partial fraction decomposition form. So, I like to use the X method. Um, so you can just do negative 21, 4, and then you can see it's 7, negative 3, and 1 for the bottoms. So whichever method you like to use, uh, you can go ahead and do that. So we know that the factors are going to be x plus 7 and x minus 3. And the form for partial fraction decomposition is going to be some constant a over whatever the first factor is plus some constant b over whatever the second factor is going to be. And now we're going to be able to find what a and b are. And we do that by essentially cross multiplying the denominators and numerator, the opposite denominators and numerators. So we're going to have a times x minus 3 plus b times x plus 7. And we're going to set that equal to whatever the denominator is, or whatever the numerator is, I mean. So in this case, it's really easy. It's going to be 1. So we don't have to do any, like, extra plugging in. So in order to find out what a and b are, you're going to set e x equal to some value to isolate each variable, a and b. And the easiest way to do that is find out whatever x can make it so a or b multiply by 0. So you're left with only one of them. So in that case for a, it would be 3. So a times 3 minus 3 is 0, plus b times 3 plus 7 equals 1. So we know this is going to be 0. And b is going to be times 10 equals 1. So b is going to equal 1 over 10. And then we do the same thing with, to find a, right? This time we're going to do x equals negative 7. So negative 7 minus 3 plus b times 0. So that's going to be 0, 1. Negative 7 minus 3 is negative 10, which is going to equal 1. And a is going to equal negative 1 over 10. So there we go. And now we can plug in these numbers. And I'm just going to switch these around when I plug it in, just to make it a little easier for the next thing I'm going to do. Um, so we have a, or we're going to do b first. So 1 over 10, which is b times 1 over x minus 3. And then we're going to do minus 1 over 10, because the a is negative 1 over 10, times 1 over x plus 7. So it might be easier to look at it with these in parentheses so we know what's going on it's easier to um differentiate between the a and b uh variables right so this is our new integral and now if we have two um variables where they're being multiplied by the same constant we can just factor that out of the integral and it does not affect the integral at all all right so now we have this minus 1 over x plus 7 dx and when you have two um different variables like this you can actually easily uh take them out of or make them into their own integrals so the 1 over 10 is going to stay on the outside and then we're going to have the integral of 1 over x minus 3 dx minus the integral of 1 over x plus 7 dx. And now you can easily just solve that. So in this case, we don't have to do u substitution because there's no coefficient in front of the x. So the only time you really have to do u, uh, u, u sub in the integral in order to make it fit the definition of well you could really use any variable but just to make it so the only time you have to do use substitution to fit the definition of the integral of ln of x is if the x right here has like a degree 
or or a coefficient right so if it has any degree or coefficient in front of it that's when you do use substitution because that's when it'll have an effect on the integral but in any case this is going to be ln of x minus 3 minus ln of x plus 7 plus c right so now we can see that we have our answer but it doesn't really match anything going on over here exactly so first things first we know we're dealing with logs so d and b those are not going to be the answers so and we can see that something is going on with division over here so we know we're gonna have to use the properties of logs when you have two logs like this that are being subtracted from each other you can actually make it into a single log with the first parameter on as the numerator and the second parameter as the denominator inside the log and that's it and then we can just you know distribute the 1 over 10 to the ln and since we know c is just some constant that we don't know it just stays as c and this is going to be our answer which is going to be a So I hope that was helpful and maybe you were able to figure it out on your own too. And this was just to see if you got the right answer, but make sure to keep watching the rest of my videos. If you want to, you know, get some extra practice in for the AP Calc test coming up soon and have a good rest of your day.